Hey everyone, this is your beloved host Nikhil Bharat and today I am going to be talking about Magnetism. So what is Magnetism? Magnetism is an invisible force that comes from a magnet that can attract or repel certain materials. They mostly attract on iron, nickel, and cobalt. So a magnet has two poles, a north pole and a south pole. So when you take the opposites like a north pole and a south pole together, they will attract. But when you take the same like a north pole and north pole or a south pole or south pole, they repel. This is a simple rule. Opposites attract and likes repel. Interesting, isn't it? Even though we can't see magnetism, every magnet produces an invisible magnetic field. So when we sprinkle iron fillings on a bar magnet, we can see the lines going from the north pole to the south pole. And fun fact, the earth itself is like a giant magnet. It produces a magnetic field, so that's why the compasses always point to the north. It follows the magnetic field of the earth. There are two types of magnets. Artificial magnets and natural magnets. So natural magnets are magnets that are found in nature. These can be produced from a rock called magnetite which was found thousands of years ago. Ancient people used this, ma uh, used this rock uh, in a compass to show where they were going to find the direction. Sorry. Next is artificial magnets. These magnets are made by man. Uh, examples are like bar magnets, horseshoe magnets, ring on magnets, electromagnets, etc. These magnets uh, can be designed for different uses and, uh, and can be stronger. The story of magnets goes uh, before 2000 years ago when a shepherd called Magnus was going, was going with his uh, ship, uh, with his animals when his uh, iron nails in his sandals got stuck to a rock. That rock was magnetite the first natural magnet ever found and the word magnet came from madness and magnesia where the rock was found in greece so then there is artificial magnets which are man-made magnets that are made by man and like osho magnets ring magnets bar magnets etc these magnets can be stronger and can be designed for different uses Next is electromagnetism. Electromagnetism is super cool because it uses electricity to create magnetism. So when electricity passes through an iron nail which is wrapped around the copper rod, when it passes through, the current passes through it, it creates magnetism. When the current stops, the magnetism disappears. Electromagnetism is used in cranes to lift heavy objects. Magnets also play a huge role in our daily life. Let's look at some examples. Magnets are in fridge doors that help us uh, photos or artworks on the fridge door. Magnets are also in uh, motors, electric motors and fans and washing machines to help them move. Magnets can also be found in speakers and headphones because they convert electric signals into sound. Magnets are also found uh, in maglev trains, which are trains that have, a spe that have a special feature. They levitate on the iron railing with the help of magnets, reducing friction and allowing them to go over 500 km per hour. Wow! Then, magnets can also be found in hospitals, in MRI machines that help scan our body or take a picture of our body safely without any X-rays. So, magnets are found in credit cards, mobile phones and video games. They help store data, power speakers and control sensors. So, without magnets, there wouldn't be computers, television or even electric cars. Did you know that magnets also exist in space? Yes, our sun has a really strong magnetic field that helps it to do solar flares and sunspots. Also, Jupiter, Earth and Mercury also have magnetic fields that protect the planet from the sun's harmful rays. So, magnetism isn't just a cool science topic. It is a force that powers a small fridge magnets to super fast rays from compasses to super high tech computers, magnetism is changing.
changing the world even though it's invisible. So next time you're playing with a magnet, remember you're holding a tiny piece of the force that runs our world, protects our planet and even exists in space. This is your blood host Nikhil Bala signing off.